is this the chosen one, right? That, that's probably the biggest question that I'm gonna get after this video releases. What's up, Piper Drivers? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I got another big statue unboxing for you guys. I have the quarter scale XM Studios Anakin Skywalker to take a look at. If you guys have been following along with the channel, this is the second Anakin Skywalker that I'm gonna be seeing in as little as two months. Uh, the first one that I've ever been able to unbox is the Mythos Anakin Skywalker, and you guys saw my disappointment with that one. Hopefully, this one is gonna be a much better piece. Bigger, definitely, but bigger isn't always better. You know, sometimes the smaller ones have more detail, a little more dynamic, but I'm really hoping this is gonna be the one that is gonna remain in the collection because I really wanna have an Anakin Skywalker. If this is your first time on the channel though, here on the Hyperdrive, we talk about Star Wars every single week. Every single week, I try to bring you guys something cool and new to take a look at. So if you're into Star Wars like I am, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can jump to light speed every week with us right here on the Hyperdrive. I picked this one up here over at Cosmic Chase Collectibles. If you guys have been following me along from MCE all the way over to here, all of my XM Studio statues I purchased over at Cosmic Chase because they have very competitive pricing, but more importantly, the best around in shipping in my opinion. They come to you fast and they come to you pretty inexpensively in this day and age anyway when it comes to shipping. So that's why I use them. And right now they have a sale going on, free shipping into the US on select XM Studio statues, including the set that this Anakin Skywalker comes with, the Darth Vader and the younger version of Anakin Skywalker, the XM Studios Boba Fett, which you guys have seen me unbox on this channel, which is awesome, and the XM Studios Luke Skywalker, which is freaking awesome. Also, other Marvel pieces as well if you're into collecting some Marvel. So definitely go and check out Cosmic Chase Collectibles. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to get to them. That's it, let's get to unboxing this piece. I've actually already taken the foam out uh, because you know these boxes are pretty big from XM, but this is gonna be a really easy statue to put together. Only three pieces. This is probably gonna be my easiest XM Studio statue build ever in the time that I've been building statues. So let's get out the lazy Susan. Let's get to this, man. All right. I said easy, but then the base is like stuck in the foam. <laughs> that base had a really, really snug fit. So we got a Mustafar inspired base. They made uh, 250 of these. This is number three, wow, number three. 250 of these. And it's got like a Mustafar look to it. So you got that rock and everything and you got the lava going on. That's what's going on there. Pretty tall base too. But it doesn't take up a lot of space, so that's cool. That's dope. Like the portrait. That's cool. I'm gonna have to give you guys a close up of this as soon as I get it in. It is heavy. This is a solid piece, man. All right, there is Anakin all cloaked up. Not entirely accurate, but pretty nice portrait anyway. I like it better than the other portrait. And um, then you got a lightsaber. And that just keys up right here. And that's really it. That's the easiest XM Studio statue I've ever had to put together. <laughs> is this the chosen one, right? That, that's probably the biggest question that I'm gonna get after this video releases. Um, so now that I've seen the Sideshow Mythos statue, and then we have this one, you're talking two different style statues, two different times that they came out. The Mythos is newer. This one here came out about four years ago, I think, three to four years ago. Uh, so not that old. Um, which one's better? They're, they're two different statues. The Mythos statue is more of a dynamic statue, more of an interpretation of the way Anakin looks during the Clone Wars in the midst of battle, which makes it very cool as far as like a dynamic piece, right? But their portrait was horrible. I mean, both of them, very horrible, you know, Napoleon Dynamite looking horrible statues. I just did not like the portraits, the way those look. They did a, they did a nasty job with that. Then you got XM's more museum style pose, much more like his look from Revenge of the Sith. And it's good, you know, but it's lacking a lot. You know, when, you, when in terms of an XM Studios piece, right? XM Studios are more exclusive. You saw this, they only, they only made 250 of these. It's very exclusive, much more expensive than Sideshow. You know, these are, are seven, $800 statues plus shipping, you know, so 
you got that. And then I've been collecting XM Studios now for over five years. In the five years, even at the beginning, you know, my first XM Studios was their, their Batman piece. Then I saw the Cable, I saw the Venom, the, the, um, the Punisher. You know, I saw all those at the beginning. So much more detail in those statues than this. This is lacking a lot. This, this is like they, they went back in time and found a sculptor, you know, 15 years ago before digital sculpting, before, uh, you know, all of the nice, beautiful textures that we get in pieces. I mean, you get one tenth scale statues that I feel have more detail in it than, than this piece in terms of sculpt. And then in terms of paint, it's lacking there too. Probably that the paint is what makes this even worse. I think that, that ultimately what I would say with this statue is that it needs a full repaint, you know, and it'll probably enhance the statue way more than what I'm seeing here, okay? That's, that's the, the overall feeling that I get of this. Let me go over some of the details here for you guys so you know what you're getting yourself into, and then you can make an assessment of whether or not you wanna go out and go buy the statue, all right? So, here we go. The statue is 23 inches tall, all right? It's about 12 inches deep and about 16 to 17 inches wide if you decide to install the lightsaber. You can take the, the blade out and that will save you some space. It's not a very space uh, consuming statue, which is good. It is kind of tall. It is a very solid, very heavy statue. Probably one of my more heavier statues in, in my collection now. So keep that in mind, all right? Now, you got Anakin standing on top of a Mustafar style base. I feel like the rocks on the base are pretty well painted. They look just like what I would expect Mustafar to look like. The lava though is so dull. You know, it's got the tone of lava, but it's not bright. You know, lava should have more of a bright light emitting type of uh, effect to it. It doesn't need to have, you know, LEDs lighting up. It just needs to give that idea that it's lighting up. And this doesn't do that. This, I feel like it's all one tone. So I don't, I don't get that vibe from it. Also, when you take that Anakin is standing on top of all this, it would be kind of neat that if they had painted some of that emitting light from the from the lava onto the tunic and stuff so that and the cloak so that you can get that idea you know that it's that it's lighting up and that would be a nice feature to to add to this okay uh details as far as like the sculpt goes on the suit i think the general look of the suit looks great but i feel like there's no separation in texture at all you know so like you have the pants the leather everything is smooth you know, so that none of that really breaks up anything in detail. And it's even more so apparent in like the cloak. So they could have put some texture in the cloak to give it the idea that it's got that wool appearance to it. It's supposed to have more of a brown uh, look to it. So you could get some shades in there and everything. And I think that would be nicer. Right now, cloak is almost identical color to the tunic. And then since it's smooth, you kind of just get the same thing. That it's the same leather material that's there, which I feel like that could have been done uh, better. Okay. Uh, paint wise, other, other than that, it seems to be pretty clean. There's no like, you know, breaks and lines. I do have some issues with like the boot here where the paint kind of, kind of, I think it kind of wore out on his boot. It doesn't really bother me because it kind of just looks like the boot is worn, uh, but it does, it may need some touch up there. But again, I think I'm going to get this thing repainted because I feel like it, it could look so much better with the paint. I do like the way the cloak is flowing. I think that looks really good, you know, and he, he generally looks like he did look at the end of Revenge of the Sith. In his portrait, I think looks good. He has that Anakin, the uh, the Hayden Christensen appearance to him. So I think that's very done done very well. But what it's lacking again is paint, where you can have maybe like you know a little bit of stubble on his chin or or some shading going on there. You can see where the hair is peering out a little bit. But again, there's there's no work done to that, and I think it's mostly because the cloak is hiding a lot of that. But the fact that I could see it, you know, I feel like that should have been done. Uh, a little better. Um, very easy statue to put together, so that's cool. And I like that it's limited, so that, that's good as well. So if, if I had to do it all over again and there's the only two Anakin Skywalkers that I could choose from, I probably would still go with this one because it's, you know, I like the portrait at least better, uh, but I feel like, again, it needs a repaint. And if, if it's not a, a must have for you, I would suggest probably just waiting on another Anakin and hopefully that one's done uh, better. I think, uh, you know, come to think of it, I think Sideshow also did another quarter scale Anakin and that one didn't really come out that good either. So this may not be the only one. I think they may have done a premium format a long time ago. 
Um, but that's my thoughts on it. Uh, overall, if I would give it like a scale between one, one and 10 on this piece, I'd probably rate it more on the lines of like a six, you know, it's, it's nice. You know, it's going to do the effect that it, that it fits in the collection and everything, but there's a lot of stuff that needs to be improved on this piece for it to be, in my opinion, XM Studios rated quality. All right. This came out at the same time as their Boba Fett, as their Luke Skywalker statue, um, you know, their, their Darth Maul statue. All of those are done super well, very highly cool looking pieces, you know, and this here is, I feel like it's just kind of like they, they let the ball drop in my opinion. Um, but that's it. That's my thoughts on it. You guys go over these uh, video, the images and everything. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments below. Which one do you like better, this one or the Sideshow Mythos? Curious to hear your thoughts. And until next time, may the force be with you.